This week, we will be focusing on two different types of projective tests. The first is the Rorschach, and the second is the thematic apperception test, also known as TAT. So, unlike tests that require answers to straightforward questions, responses to the Rorschach are almost impossible to fake. It provides us with a unique way to observe how people construct a mental image from what is basically meaningless, meaningless stimulus. So it's basically just an ink blot. Um, these two forms of tests are done by psychologists. So as a LMF or as an MFT or an LPCC, you wouldn't uh, be able to administer these tests on your own unless you had a specialized training. So kind of the theory uh, with using an ink blot, uh, because humans are meaning making creatures, we have a tendency to create some sort of image or story out of ink blots, just as we do when we lie down in a meadow on a beautiful summer day and see images in the cloud uh, floating in the sky. So if you've ever looked up at the sky and been like, oh, that cloud looks like a, I don't know, a mermaid or a star or a heart, it's the same type of idea. What people make out of these blots can tell us a lot about how their minds work. So it's the same, also it's, it reminds me also a little bit of like if you were to engage a client in art therapy, you would be looking at themes and uh, you would really get to know what's going on, um, what has happened in their past. The Rorschach test has been used a lot on veterans and those who have chronic PTSD. So I've heard studies about uh, veterans, post-war veterans who were given the Rorschach test and with all of the ink blocks, they are able to visualize uh, some type of war scene or death or violence. And it's while it's heartbreaking, it's also really interesting. So I went ahead and provided you with some of the actual ink blots. You might have also been familiar with this test because we see it sometimes a lot like in movies, uh, psychologists giving it to patients in movies. So it's kind of interesting uh, if you wanna do it on yourself and kind of see what you come up with and um, maybe explore. I wonder why I came up with that. It's, it's a fun little experiment. So the TAT is also a projective test, and it uses a set of cards to discover how people's inner reality shapes their view of the world. Unlike the Rorschach, cards we used uh, with, with this form of test depict realistic but ambiguous and somewhat troubling scenes. So it's actual pictures versus just ink blots. So I have provided actual examples of cards in the TAT here. So when administering these tests, the subject or the client are asked to tell stories about what is going on in the photo, what has happened previously, and what happens next. In most cases, interpretations quickly reveal the themes that preoccupy them. So you'll kind of, again, just like the Rorschach, you'll pick up on themes and I have provided uh, a synopsis of what would be actually said to a client. So there's that here if you're interested. And like I said, this form of test is a lot more direct and structured in comparison to the Rorschach test. So go ahead and delve into the material this week. And you also have another presentation due on the TAT. It's the exact same format as your previous presentation that you did. So I'm just asking for a 12 slide PowerPoint that does not include the reference slide. And I am asking for the history and the development of the TAT, its intended use and its strengths and limitations. I would also like to hear uh, like a hypothetical clinical example of when you might use this test. Um, I'm asking for at least two detailed case examples, so get creative. Um, it's, there's a wide range of different types of cases that you could use, like I said, trauma is a big one, or maybe if uh, the person has been abused or is in like a domestic violent relationship. 
Um, and also I want to hear about your personal reflections about uh, how information gathered from the TAT results may or may not enhance the counseling experience and your understanding of the client. So it's okay if you think, oh, I don't think this, uh, this test would be appropriate in this setting. It's okay, I just wanna hear what your thoughts are. Again, um, APA formatting should be used with the citations. Um, and if you have any questions or concerns, let me shoot me an email, shoot me a text, give me a call, whatever works for you. And I'm really looking forward to reviewing your assignments.